Capricorns, how are you? This is your reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October 7th to the 14th. I hope everything is going great for you. Let's see where we go. I will be uh, in the extended pulling cards for each zodiac sign. So if you're dealing with anybody, we're going to just see what's going on with them. And also, I will be talking a lot more in this reading about the astrology of this week, where we have quite a bit going on. We have Mars squaring Pluto. Okay, so that's Libra energy facing off with Capricorn energy. Wow. And then we have um, the Libra new moon, um, which is an eclipse happening on the 14th. So there's this is big. This is big energy tunnel right here, right here. So let's see what's going on for Capricorn. Let's see what wants to come out of the reading. Charlie, knowledge, message, truth. All right, so <laughs> knowledge is power, right? Knowledge is power, message and truth coming through here. That seems um, a little bit like maybe if you are feeling called to explore something, you should. Um, there's some kind of message in it for you. And I know that that's always true. Uh, I know that's how I have operated with this channel for for the last six years is really if I'm drawn to something, then it's relevant to who is watching and it and it always seems like that's the case. So I want to just kind of impart that on you and say, hey, if you're you know, don't second guess yourself. If you're really feeling drawn to something, there's a message in it for you. And um, especially like a, uh, a a kind of a new body of information, if you're feeling called to learn about something that is kind of off the beaten path for you, I follow it. I would follow it. Okay. I would follow it down. So that's for Capricorn. Oh, wow. Look at you. Ta-da. Okay. I keep seeing this in relationship to Capricorn. There's the temperance card. There's the tower. Eight of swords. All right. The sun, the world. That's a lot of that's a lot of major arcana cards. And, you know, the, if you um, if you don't know much about tarot, but you like tarot, if you want to learn tarot from me, you can. There's a link in the description box below. Major arcana cards are about massively important moments in our life. So I feel like this message may not just be, hey, you know, go learn drumming. I think there's a bigger message here that says there's some truth trying to come through this new body of knowledge to you. OK, so whatever you're feeling drawn to, it's not just like, a oh, it's interesting. I think I'll learn a new thing, a new hobby or something like that. This is a big deal. This is something that could impact the rest of your life, the purpose of your being here. It could activate something in you that's really powerful. So just pay attention to what seems to be calling to you, because I almost feel like it's going to be uh, blowing apart a mindset about how the world works. Some kind of way that you look at the world is going to be tested and what comes out the other side it's like almost like don't resist it because what comes out the other side is something that's really good and really awesome and happier and more joyful like you could be looking at the world like everybody is out for themselves everybody's a jerk everybody's you know a killer everybody's everybody's just trying to get theirs and all this kind of like very very dark energy but what happens is you have something go on and people's generosity comes out or someone's um, kindness is extended to you. If you have had that experience recently or you're going to have that experience, I suggest that that might need to replace a mindset that is calcified in you that has kind of brought you to a place of... Um, always expecting the worst, always seeing the negativity in people. And I'm not saying, I don't think you're negative. I think that this, this mindset has a tendency to really, um, okay, there's a lot coming in here. So there's this, a tendency is, is a way of like protecting you. So if you see the, if you think everybody's going to be awful and then someone's minorly nice, it's like a miracle, right? And so there's some, there is some kind of safety in that where at, if you are neutral, 
then people can disappoint you or people cannot disappoint you. But if you're always optimistic about people, then they seem to always disappoint you, right? Like there's this kind of this thing. I feel like the, what this is saying is not so much about the other people. It's basically like, hey, it's time to detach meaning from that activity. So someone says something kind of nasty, stop making stories around it, what it means, what it says about this person. Like just release yourself from creating a, a whole story about somebody because of a two second slip of the tongue or something like that. Uh, and vice versa. Somebody's minimally nice to you and they become like Saint Germain. Okay. So like, I think that's a thing that needs to be worked on. Okay. Um, eight of wands, page of cups, the death card so far, tower, death and devil. Okay. And the world. So, you know, not just minor, oh my God, three of swords, eight of pentacles, six of swords. Some of you might be moving on Oh, eights, lots of eights here. Eight of swords, eight of wands, eight of pentacles. Some of you may be moving on from a connection after having an expectation that didn't pan out. You expected something to go a certain way and it didn't. Okay. Um, Queen of wands, page of swords, and the star. There's a lot of internal healing that's going to take place because of this change of how you're looking at the world. And I just feel like you might've had an expectation. Maybe it was a naive expectation and Capricorn, I know you'll never admit that, but like maybe it was a naive expectation that someone was going to be a certain way. And then that turns out they weren't. And maybe it was because of a lack of communication, right? Cause I am, um, where is it? The eight of wands is really important here, communicating with each other. And then that brings about some kind of change that you may not have seen coming. The three of swords. This person's moving on. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. Yep, Sag, Leo there. This person is, is going to be telling you that they're moving on. I feel like this is a very healing exchange, though, for you. Because there's something truthful that comes out of this that kind of floats back to you as like, wow, now I'm seeing myself in a different way. I'm seeing my, my world in a different way. How I perceive the world is closing up one chapter, moving to something else, which I think is actually going to be better for you. I think you thought this was going to be a good situation, but I think it's time to move on from it. At, and I don't know, like the fact is like, I think it's closed. I think this person if you decide to stay, I think they're moving on. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't think you have con total control over whether this ends or anything. Um, what's the death card about here? Knight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, there's all the four eights. Okay. And do we have... No, we don't have Strength card yet. But we will probably because... All the eights are here now and eights are about industry and about work, you know, putting work into the world. A, lo a lot of, um, even though it's a feminine energy, I kind of like that with the eight of pentacles, that it's not the masculine um, energy. I feel like the masculine recently is going to be moved to the side. The feminine needs to step in. I'm definitely feeling that. And so there might be some kind of really good heartfelt conversation that needs to be had that instead of kind of just putting up this barrier and, you know, I'm just saying like, this might not be for you, but like some of you Capricorns might be like, ah, just get away. Right. Like if someone wants to do something that you don't want to do, or they kind of surprise you by saying, you know, I'm going to kind of move on. Like there might just be this like, ah, but I almost feel like that's counterproductive for you. I think what you want to do is you want to lean in and be like, what's this about? Why is this moving on when I thought this was going to be a good thing? Why isn't this, what have I missed? And a little bit like Pluto here, we've got Pluto, um, Mars is squaring Pluto uh, on the 8th. And so there is a sense of like, um, especially Mars is in Libra and Libra is the uh, energy of relationships, but Mars is a little bit muted in Libra. Capricorn or uh, Pluto and Capricorn is loud. 
is in your sign of Capricorn. It's going direct the 10th. Okay, so there is a, there is a, um, a little bit of a changing of the guard here. And there is a sense of like things suddenly, it seems like suddenly um, I'm getting like, it's like a flashbang, right? Like I'm getting a, a sense of like, oh, the world doesn't always work like that. Especially if I'm thinking it's kind of a negative thing. Because this may seem like a negative thing that things, something is ending, but I do think you're going in a very good direction. Okay, so I wouldn't try to hold on to it, but I would try to inquire. I would try to ask, ask questions. So three of swords here. Magician, nine of swords, four of wands, and the high priestess. Uh, the person you're dealing with is very intuitive. Um, they are somebody who can manifest really easily. I feel like they have been having a lot of worries and a lot of sleepless nights about a situation with you. Um, Cancer, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio. That's a lot here, Taurus. We'll pull cards for each sign just so you get a better sense. But this feels like um, someone is trying to get themselves stable again. Okay. And they feel like this is creating instability for them in some way. It's not stable for them. Um, or it's draining their stability. Yes, it's draining their stability. Six of swords. Two of cups, knight of cups, four of cups. Notice the theme, two of swords. Okay. I think that you thought that this was going to be a better partnership or they did. They thought it was going to be a more um, dynamic partnership or something that was going to flow. It feels like it's not flowing. And so there's other people whispering in their ears and I feel like they're just kind of like, no, I'm making my own decision here. I'm just going to move on from this. What is this message? So the, the message and the truth that's coming out here, what is this truth? Two of Wands, Ace of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, and Ten of Pentacles. I feel like um, they're making choices based on something around what is better for them, their well-being. Okay, I don't feel like you should take this personally. I just feel like this is something that someone's doing for their own healing purposes. They have to stand up for themselves or they have to, if something doesn't feel like right, like they have to make a decision. I almost feel like either one of you, you guys had a different feeling about what this was. Some of you thought this was love. Some of you thought this was partnership. Some of you thought this was friendship. I feel like there's a disconnect here. And there's a disconnect. And I just feel like uh, this person is moving on to something that's more stable for them. I feel like they got hurt a little bit by thinking that it was going to be better for them, more, whatever it was. I don't even know what their idea was, what their mindset was, but I think you might have, I think they might have blown apart with something that went on. Um, the Sag energy and the devil energy, it's like freedom versus control. Like there's something there. And one of these, I feel like maybe the Sag, because that's the freedom. Uh, the fire sign, maybe wanting to expand into the world and feeling controlled by staying here. Okay. So not saying you're controlling them. I'm just saying that, that they feel that way. So this is like, don't take it personally. They, they just can't stay in this situation. Yet they're going towards something that's more Virgo-esque. I almost feel like this is something they have to create for themselves. It's not necessarily a partner it's not necessarily that they're turning down you and they're going towards somebody else. I just feel like they need to, you, 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 they have to learn independence. North node in Aries is happening right now. So this person has to learn more independence and can't really be, is not in a position of partnership right now. Okay. So let's see where we're going with this. I'm going to pull cards for each Zodiac sign. We'll see what they have to say. Link is below. If you want to continue on Capricorn, I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out 
these videos.